Nat. I work for the Edgar Allan Pony blog, and this is the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 164. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Kick. Hi, guys. Also joining us today is Twilight Sparkle NLR. Greetings, mortals. <laughs> and our guest for this week is Nat of... Edgar Allan Pony. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone? How is everyone? Doing all right. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't really know what to say. It's like today I woke up, I had a piece of toast. I decided I was actually going to get up and do something today. Moped After around and didn't meal. actually do anything. Shut up! I <laughs> <laughs> didn't actually do anything. Woke it got really quiet there. for a second there. I thought everyone had disappeared. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just being monotone because my day has not been that exciting. I'm drawing a comic today. I've got a reaction to do. Oh. And there's enough of that. I hate being monotone. I hate it so much. <laughs> you have to be energetic and things like this. Yeah, probably. What about you, Toy? I'm good. Playing games. You getting woken up at 5 o'clock in the morning for no reason. <laughs> yeah, the norm. Was it because of that person who Snapchatted you? It could I'm, be. I'm sorry, I couldn't sleep, so I thought... That's not a word! Hit, I'm going to Snapchat people. This is what you do in your spare time. No, it's what I do when I haven't slept in three days straight. Oh, no. Which, by the way, yes, audience, I haven't slept in three days straight. So, oops. Somebody needs a bedtime blankie. I need, I need, I need someone warm to cuddle. Wow, that got oddly sexual for a second there. Oh, no. no I no. was about to say. I was, I was meant to be completely, completely innocent. And then my brain said it, and then I and then I looked, looked back and went, no, no, that wasn't as innocent as it was meant to be. That didn't sound right, bro. Uh, bro, dude, bro, dude. That's not a word. Uh, but anyway, how about you, Ned? How have you been? I've been alright, just busy. You already know that, though. Mm, yeah. Sorry about the early recording time. Nah, this is the best time for me. Don't worry about that. I would have been busy no matter what time we did it. Mm, okay, alright, alright. But before we officially start, I need to ask you a four important question. And question one is, favorite character? Uh, I most relate to Rainbow Dash, so I always considered her my favorite character because she's always trying to prove herself, but deep down she really doubts herself. And then second favorite would probably be Scootaloo just because she's adorable. <laughs> All right. And favorite episode? That's a hard one. I don't <laughs> really uh, – I like a lot of the episodes. Um, I probably okay, should have studied. Here's, here's a way of doing it then. What's the episode of MLP? Someone wants to watch it the first time and you say, they say, which is the episode, the one I will watch? I usually go between either um, Party for One, the one with Pinkie Pie, or Lesson Zero with Twilight. (laughs) I don't know why it's the insane ones. I'm sorry. Those are the ones I tell them to watch. I I don't mind. Lesson Zero is my favorite. So, yay. So there you go. That's, that answers your question. Which one's your favorite? The one with the crazies in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, how did you become a fan of the show? It was funny. I actually used to think people who liked the show were weirdos. <laughs> um, <gasps> <laughs> no, look, I, I know. Gas. No, I used I to be guess. the same. Um, no, when the fir- when the show first first came out. I sat down like My Little Pony. I watched this when I was a kid. So I sat down. I watched it. It was the one with the dragon where they're going to try and get him to fall asleep or move, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was like, this is weird. And I never watched it again. Then I started hearing it became this huge thing and a bunch of people are fans of it. I'm like, weirdos. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So ironically, I... And this is going to sound really horrible, but ironically, I made a troll <laughs> account on DA. And I wasn't mean, I promise. I just made the most horrible, ugly looking character. And I actually gained some followers. And then I'm like, <laughs> I got, I was, I started getting into the show because of that. Wait. And I felt terrible. And so I deleted my account. Wait, I, I think so- I've seen that one before. Like, it was meant as a joke or something like that. Like, the colors were off, a lot of wings and something like that. Was it? No? I don't know. It didn't last for very long. It was like 
uh, Red Heart or something. Oh, I don't man. remember. It didn't last for very long, but I started getting to the show after that. And um, so, ironically, I'm like, yeah, I know, it seems weird, <laughs> but I went through the same process, and I've actually gotten a few friends into the show, too. One so. of us. One of us. <laughs> that's, that's almost like the way I used to, isn't it? Just like, uh, just, I, I just really didn't like the show or the fandom now look at now look at me god <laughs> christ look at me well, they dragged us in bro i know well, I've dragged, <laughs> there's I've dragged. no escape <laughs> so um my current uh conversion rate is four people how about you uh let's see I'm like two or three maybe I, I, mean, <laughs> I started season like three that was the season i stopped in so all the new se- all the new seasons are new to me so I started at the beginning of season four. <laughs> I, I've converted 16 people. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Twilight is Twilight, so yeah. Yeah, she probably just sticks her horn in their face. Oh, God, no, that's going to be painful. I'm the one with the dirty jokes now. Actually, I just abuse, abuse my powers at work. <laughs> Tell them watch the show while they're doing the mopping duty. <laughs> you should show them that Obama video, the one where it's like, Obama turned me into a brony. <laughs> Oh, short animation where it was like uh, Obama's like you gotta watch or uh, they said something like I don't want to watch MLP it's like let me show you one thing and if you think this video is cool you have to watch the whole show he's like fine and then he showed him some awesome AMV or something he's like Obama turned me into a brony <laughs> yeah <laughs> I never do that. Like when I'm showing people stuff, it's always stuff from the episodes. I feel like if I show them the AM, like the PMV stuff, it's like that's kind of cheating because those usually are awesome. Yeah, 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 true. <laughs> but I think that's the point. Yeah, probably. Mm, yes. It's a good way to do it because you attract them via something else, and if it works, it works. So, Nat, yeah. what do your family and friends think about your love for said show? Um, at first I was like, uh, I became what I thought was a loser, but, (laughs) so I didn't really say much, but then after a while, my mom didn't mind because I've always been a lot of a tomboy and then now I like cute, cute little ponies and she's like, my girl's finally (laughs) turning into a girl. And so, (laughs) and then my brother, I've actually gotten to sit down and watch a couple episodes. She's like, it's all right, but he still claims that he hates it. So, <laughs> all right, but for all the right. most part, they don't really care. He's in the stage we like to call as denial. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> his, oh well. Uh, his friend, it's his Dale best Cole. friend, told him, "Don't watch MLP. It will get you." You know. <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind of been avoiding excess. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, so. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, um. Nat, uh, we've been talking to you and I'm having an awesome time talking to you, but do you mind explaining to us who you are and what you do? Yeah, um, I do art mostly. I, there's other things I want to reach out into, but right now I'm doing the Tumblr blog, Edgar Allan Pony. Um, it's a pony based off uh, Edgar Allan Poe. It's like his reincarnation if he came to Ponyville and so he's trying to be dark and brooding and everything else around him is bright and cheery (laughs) and (laughs) then um an off branch of that is I uh collab do a blog flim and flam Mm -hmm. and uh, that's with a friend of mine top hat that we're doing that and that just barely started recently and then besides that I've always just draw I want to get into voice acting but I haven't done much with that yet you know things like that Mm. So looking at your blog, it's, how do I put this? It's a punny name. Like. Yes, it's a very punny name. <laughs> where, where did the concept came from? The concept came from, I was at work and when I'm at work, I can listen to like audiobooks and things. And so I'm at work, I'm listening to the scary stories of Edgar Allan Poe. And after I'm, I get a message from another fr- artist friend of mine and then, I was like, man, I know the perfect pun. Why hasn't anybody made an Edgar Allan Pony blog? And he's like, oh, that's pretty clever. And I'm like, yeah, man, somebody needs to do that. He's like, why don't you? Uh, I don't do blogs, but I, technically I was working on Pun Pony at the time. So oh. um, I, I didn't really do any blogs of my own. 
So he's like, you should do it. I'm like, I don't know about that. And uh, then he's like, well, I have a Tesla, a Nikola Tesla pony. And I'm like, all right, fine. You do that vlog. I'll do mine. So I started Edgar Allan Pony. He started his and never posted a single thing. And now here's where I am. So <laughs> so he's all put you towards the, to the goodness of the show. Like, uh, yeah, making... it, you might have seen his character a couple times. His character's name is Mr. Ace. He's also a brown pony. He has like a bright purple circle on his butt. So <laughs> that would be him. All right. I don't, I don't venture too far into Tumble. I sort of post things every now and again and go, right, time to leave before they've drawn pull me in. I don't really <laughs> stick around. I don't stick around. I throw stuff at the, I throw stuff at the people that hang around that area and leave. It's like how, it's like how a lot of people deal with homeless people. They throw food <laughs> and then run off. How rude. <laughs> I don't throw the food at him, I just run <laughs> <laughs> You gotta stick around and watch him pick the pieces off the ground at least. I mean, what's the fun if you don't, right? Exactly. Oh god, we're horrible, horrible people. You know what you do is put two sandwiches in front of them and tell them the challenge is find the one that isn't poisoned. <laughs> Oh, that's just mean. I, I was actually going through a Panda Express, and there's this, like, 20-something-year-old homeless kid sitting there with a sign, like, and I was like, oh, he has to be hungry. He's sitting in the driveway of a Panda Express, you know? So I ended up giving him food, but you you got to watch him pick up the pieces, <laughs> at least. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> we're all twisted people, and we're going to burn for it. Uh, I like you. <laughs> I like me too. So, <laughs> wow, where, where do I even go with that? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, okay, let's see. We've covered homeless people. How about? That's not a word. I don't know. I'm just literally thinking of something like I don't know where to go with that either. Yeah. I, I mean, you I can just think went of a few to places. a dark place. You just went to a very dark place. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, just, the NBA show isn't exactly a dark place. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is to be honest. They went to a dark place too. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of dark places, <laughs> I've heard there's some dark history behind this company. But has, has Disney recently taken over another company or something? No, no. Or, I mean, besides some... besides Marvel and the Star Wars, um, I, I think probably Star Trek. But I'm not 100 percent sure that what. But uh, apparently, they have gotten a Mickey Thing Rogers. Oh no! For you who don't know who AKR is, she gotcha. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, she's one of the writers for the MLP episodes. She did uh, a friend indeed, the one with the Pinkie Pie song, and a few episodes like um, Philly Vanilli. So apparently, she is a full timer at Disney right now. So uh, it looks like she quit writing for Hasbro and is doing this now with Disney full time. <laughs> she well, I mean, the fandom. <laughs> drama, quick, create the drama. Get the ball, oh, drama, dear. drop the drama. We need um, to go to 4chan, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I've, never I've never been on that website. Me say. neither. It scares the heck out of me. Um, But she was freelance, right? So uh, yeah. it's not like she quit, quit. Mm, yeah, yeah. That is also true. I mean, I, I guess after she finished writing Ponies, she applied for Disney and apparently she got the job. Yay. Uh, you know what would be ironic is if she ends up writing a show about horses or something. <laughs> <laughs> they create the next horse movie over at Disney and it's all her fault. Tony will free the movie. Oh, God, no. Oh. That game, man, that game. Oh, talking, about, talking about Pony World 3, like, did you know that the Game Grumps got that game? Like, they, they beat me to it. Yeah, they got it. Damn and it, they, they beat me to it. Oh, who, who watched that video? Because I certainly did not. I, I almost played that game, and then I couldn't customize the pony enough, and I was like, no, screw this, and I just... I did I play it. Oh, God. I got to the point where it gave me the objectives, where I had to get married and have children. <laughs> okay. And then I started starving to death, because I didn't know how to build a farm. <laughs> so I went to the local food place and bought some seal to eat. Wait, 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 wait. You eat seal as seal a pony? Seal and chicken. Yeah. Mixed in with carrots and stuff, it's so weird. <laughs> okay, Twy. I still want to do a let's play in it though. <laughs> okay, Twy, what kind of game is this? Because I've heard a lot about it. It's on EQD, it's... it's on the front page of Steam. Like, what is this game? It's basically The Sims done wrong, but with ponies. 
Oh, ugly ponies, okay. too. Yes. Okay, so... Where you could choose from two tribal cutie marks. Oh. You can choose from one style of hair. <laughs> it could be oh, oh. any color on the wheel, though. <laughs> I have to admit, they did good with the sunglasses. You can either have two circles or Alton John glasses. <laughs> The circles don't even connect. They're literally <laughs> floating circles. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, talk, talk, Alec Holman magic. Oh, talking about the colours and whatnot, I'm looking at your divine art here, Net, and your art is awesome, by the way. And how long oh, have you been drawing? Um, I've been drawing since I was a kid. Uh, it all started, I was drawing, like, horrible things, and then I drew this rabbit, and I was so proud, and I haven't stopped drawing since. Um, as regards to ponies, probably halfway through season three. Uh-huh. So, so, how did you develop your um, style? Because we certainly heard about people and their art style not being their own. So, well, how about you? How did you start yours? I guess it kind of comes down to, I didn't start by drawing ponies first. A lot of people start off drawing ponies, and all they have to work from is either the show ponies or people who already draw them. I started drawing Sonic characters, and I drew anime characters, then I drew furries, and then I drew ponies. And so I had this background of learning all these other styles and creating my own spin on those styles so when I started ponies I was already drawing them like oh, kind of how I did furries and kind of not mm. and I, I don't know I don't think I have a style but everyone says I do I do so that's my guess <laughs> so I can see you've got a style kind, kind of going and I I understand what you mean because people say the same thing about me like you've got a style I really don't yes you do <laughs> shut up <laughs> exactly that's what it is it's like I I, I do <laughs> Explain your style in one word. I do? <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> uh, so, I, I think that you've only been on DeviantArt for eight months now. So, I'm assuming that your previous works are on another DeviantArt account? Eight months? No, 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 no. You're looking at eight months premium oh. membership. I've been on DeviantArt for seven years. Oh, yeah. yeah. I derped there. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no, like, like, I've been on that six years. What's this? <laughs> no, I started on DeviantArt like back in junior high oh, school, wow. and I've been on the exact same one since. Um, I, the only other places I've been before this is I had put like really ugly, awful Sonic drawings on like Fan Art Central, and then Sheezy Art, and then I moved to DeviantArt, and that's about the time I started drawing the anime. Uh. So. I love how you say DeviantArt. Yeah. I oh, DeviantArt? Well. DeviantArt. <laughs> it's DeviantArt. But still, I still like the Deviant. That's awesome. I, excuse me. To uh, to deviate, to deviate, uh, Deviant. If you're a Deviant, it, it works. Okay. It works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so you, um, you, I see I'm looking at all this awesome, awesome art that you've got on De- <laughs> DeviantArt. <laughs> you, you guys... You guys are going to make me blush. You need to stop complimenting me. Tell me I'm horrible. Soon enough. Uh, you're a ter- you're, well, you're a terrible you're person. Horrible. You're a fantastic <laughs> artist, but a terrible person. Um, okay, good. So I'm looking at this, and I can see there's like, don't stare and some of these little animation things. Are you interested in doing animation at all? Yes. Um, the only thing is it's so hard to get into animation. I've done a few... I, I once had an animatic. It was like a Scootaloo Rainbow Dash animatic, and it, I, I had it like all planned out. I had a Snails okay. animatic going and stuff like that, but then I lost my hard drive, and they're just gone. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so suddenly you stopped animating. Yeah, and, and I don't know how to use Flash. I don't even have Flash. I just barely got Toon Boom, which is uh, like panel by panel drawing and I have no idea how to use it. I'd like to get into animation but just as a hobby I'm not good enough to draw actual animations. You you think maybe you should last someone like Janimations or anyone like that? Hmm. I did watch Janimations. I like his Mine at Night video. Um, I was excited for Party Rock but uh, yeah. <laughs> but what? Yeah. Well um... it, 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 things are seeming to get halted over there lately. Yeah. And it seems that his Tumblr, the Us the Cutie Mark Crusaders, is going to be on hiatus for a while until a quote unquote August. Uh, oh. d- Hi. D- well, like, uh. like, let's say it's because of legal troubles with Hasbro. Yeah. 
And that's the thing. It's really hard to get into anything when it comes with Hasbro because they are really, really strict. I've tried doing a couple things and they flat out denied a, or, uh, me and a friend's idea. I would like to correct you, though. It isn't Asbro oh. doing that, but the lawyers uh, working for yeah. them. Ugh, yeah, that's what they say. It's the legal department. Blood sucking monsters. <laughs> uh, lawyers? Yeah, you know, and, uh, like, me and, I had a friend, me and him were going to create, like, a dating sim kind of thing when I, near the beginning of, uh, Tumblr. I <laughs> Thank you, Asbro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. It was going to be like an RPG slash dating. It wasn't going to be not safe for work or anything. Um, <laughs> it was going to be like just Tumblr ponies or something. But we sent in a request to saying, this is our idea. We are going to be using OCs. And they immediately were like, nope. And then my friend was too paranoid to do anything with it no, anyway. So. The, the, yeah, we, we're looking at how things go with legal troubles and whatnot. Like, Jen is what, been almost two years now since he didn't do anything pony related with um, his videos I, i'm still i still think that he could still be doing f- the tumblr blogs but talking about legal troubles and whatnot and stuff you guys know main six the pony fighting game uh fighting no. is I've, I've seen bits and pieces i don't know a lot about it yeah, apparently they've been making some noise on the what you might call this uh facebook's and it looks like they will be working or they'll be getting some new content up, like some new screenshots, videos, and more. And I'm really excited for this because pony fighting games, who would have thought? It's not going to be a pony fighting yeah, game. Fully good creature fighting games. Yeah, basically when they got shut down the first time, Lauren Faust decided she was going to make characters <laughs> for them. And so wow. she's been working with them to create new characters so they can make the game. That's that sounds pretty cool. Pretty cool. The what idea a that nice someone lady. would, yeah, the idea that she would like, she obviously likes the idea of just making stuff for people to enjoy, and the idea that she would just stop and help make. Well, let's say stop, help make characters entirely for this game alone. Says a lot about oh. her, which I think. Yeah. So you want to know what's interesting? It's... If you go look on her IMDb page, she's credited as character designer for Main Six. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to the designer for the base of the game, which is now designing kind of, that's insane shit right there. I'm interested in playing it just for the fact that she made the characters. They're going to be good characters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, I I remember a while I was uh, listening to the music from that game, and the music was really cool. I liked that. I never got a chance to play the game though, so that's that sounds exciting. You can play the game, it's, but it wouldn't be legal. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if you do a Google search, like, uh, fighting is meant to... We don't endorse <laughs> this, we don't shush, endorse shush, it. Shush, no. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't give people ideas, there's children. Okay, okay. I, I mean, do, do you guys know that one website called uh, Ask Google something like that? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I, I know yeah, it yeah. exists, you know. Has Google something? Yeah. <laughs> but talking about characters, uh, I'm looking at your blog, and how many characters do you have on there? Like, what's the staple? Enough. Enough. Uh, who are you talking to? You, Nat. Your blog. <laughs> Me? Uh, characters? Um, The main character, of course, is Edgar. Uh, he has a roommate. Her name is Emerald Knight. And then I had a secondary blog I was working on for a while with a character named Copper Pipes. And she, I ended up closing that blog before I opened Flim and Flam. So technically she's kind of like a background. Uh But I'm looking at stuff here and there's a lot of awesome drawings. Like I said, you have a good style. And right now I'm not even sure which is your style anymore. Like what, why is this? What does this look like? Moe style, like shining, sparkling, handsome horseman person here. I'm not sure what you're looking at. Let me, let me, <laughs> okay. For the audience at home, this is going to be fun. But for us here in the call, they'll, they would know what I'm talking about. Here you go. And <laughs> Which post are you on? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, it looks... Oh, I made that as a joke because everyone kept saying Edgar was so hot and wanting to kiss him and stuff. And so I'm Basically, like... ladies and gentlemen, listening to the podcast is she's drawn an anthropomorphic pony with, which is like the classic cheesy anime style of where like he <laughs> grins and the sparkles behind him. He's like, hey, babe, how are you doing? To which usually oh, yeah. the protagonist, the female protagonist will go, 
what do you want? And they'll go, what? It wasn't interested in me. And then there'll know. be some moment where he falls over and grabs the boots or something. Oh, oh. Stand at anime. <laughs> no. Nah. No, that's like I said. I did draw anime. I did draw furries and everything before this. So I, I, sometimes, depending on what I want to draw, that's where I went know. wrong. Like I started, I started trying anime before I started ponies, but now it is just the ponies mostly. I need to I, ask I the story behind humans. your character looking like. A <laughs> like the story. Um, Oh, let me find it. Uh, the only humans I've drawn recently, I have not posted, mm-hmm. but I can show you guys Yay. here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so uh, you, apparently your, your character's female now, is that right? They got turned into a female for a short Who? time. Uh, he did for a little while. He's male <laughs> again. Oh. <Aww. laughs> what, what, he what's was the Edna story? for a little I while. Didn't... Why? What happened? <laughs> Tell us the story behind this. The, the story, uh, I got magic annons, which are basically annons who come in and say, poof, you're female for a few posts or something. Oh. And so he turned female for a few posts. Oh, wow. That's about <laughs> it. That's, that's about it. There's not a lot of story yet. I do remember that, um, following a few blogs, like, some people, like, they post those kind of things, like, poof, you're something, something, something. And, it's a funny situation happened. And most of the Tumblr people we follow or we know don't do that because, like, they're too lazy. Oh, I would do that. I just need the people to ask questions. But to who? Ed, well, show me what your Tumblr is. Uh, I'll send you, I'll send you an ask. Um, because I got, because it's an ask blog, generally, I get a lot of asks, just random things. Um, it's usually ask by ask is how my posts are. I do actually intend, I say actually a <laughs> no lot, problem. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I do intend to have some stories going on in the future and with a couple big name blogs too, which I'm really excited awesome. about. I've been reaching my hand out there. You gotta, you gotta show some initiative and people are willing to work with you. Awesome, so. awesome, awesome. Well, I'm always willing to work with people and I just need people to ask questions on my, I, I get people, <laughs> I get myself out there. The thing is, is though it's a really weird subject that I've picked for myself. So. Oh yeah? Tell yeah, me. Yeah. Um, well, okay. So. On the spot like, now. <laughs> okay. Literally the show, the Tumblr is about asking the, the cast of MLP what it's like recording the show, what certain actors are like, things like that. <laughs> so let's say, for example, and by the actors, I don't mean the actual voice actors. I mean the ponies. So, Cadence, what was? did you do your own stunts being thrown <laughs> off the oh. Crystal Palace? Uh, and I've got some interesting ones. Like, I've had someone say, what's Discord like off camera? Is he interesting? And I'm like, uh, I've got to think of a character designed for I got now. the perfect magic anon for you. <laughs> What's that? Poof, ever, poof. They all have to speak in rhyme for the next, like, five Oh, posts. don't even get me started. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, right. Before this podcast, I got a text. I got a text from a friend saying, we should have a beer together sometime. And Twilight here literally said the words, do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. And my oh, text oh, responded as this. One second. My text that I responded with was as such. I'm not working, so whenever is good for me. Which, if you do it, to ch- it rhymes with the tune. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I can tell. <laughs> uh, not another lichen. Oh, yo, yo. Poof. The next few posts, they have to rhyme. I'm gonna, if someone asks me that, I will do it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm... You'll do it? You'll do it? Alright, you'll have to link me. I'll send you a magic in. I'll be like, everyone, every single person that's a speaking oh, rhyme well. for like the next five posts. <laughs> can, can I send, send you a magic canon question? <laughs> Oh, you're not yes. even going to tell us what your magic anon is, are you? No. Are you, is it safe for work? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. Oh, man. The next one, somebody spiked the punch. They're all oh. drunk. <laughs> uh, you know what? This... There's no donuts for a week in the staff room. <laughs> is it bad that the reason I'm not talking right now is because I'm actually staring at my screen thinking up scenarios of what you're talking about? <laughs> and I've got the perfect one. Oh, boy. But yeah, um, Nat, if you take a look, see the links, that is King's um, Tumblr blog, Backstage Ponies. Don't do it. Don't do it. So yes. there's a few questions there. And by the looks, it's like something from Backstage, something from a question like uh, Fluttershy and Gilda. And how long did it took you to draw that, King? Um, yeah. The Gilda one. I'd, on top of, right, I'd say overall about... 
six, seven hours, but over the course of a week because of things like recording mm. videos, let's plays, reaction and videos. Uh, and to me. Did to you. So, hold on, let me, let me see. That week, I had two podcasts oh. to record, mm-hmm. both with you. Sorry. I had another comic to draw. I had a pick, commission to finish. I had to record a reaction video, and I had to edit the mm. Let's Play. So, yeah. Sometimes my week are really hectic, so sometimes the, the post will be a little delayed for, like, a day or two, maybe. Because of just how much I'm That's doing cool. at the moment. If anyone haven't seen this yet, go take a look, see, because it's really fun. Because besides the background scenes, like, that funny dirt-faced pony, like, what is his name? Party Favor? Uh, there's also uh, ask questions like the Gilda thing and more to come soon because I know I've asked a question about um, Spike being a big huge dragon so we'll see uh, that's that's sketched <laughs> out I just need to think about how like I've got I've got it all sketched out but I'm trying to do everything in stages like sketch 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 for I think I've got four comics on the go at the moment and I'm just sketching them all out. They're going to line them all. And then one day everyone's going to be, why is he not releasing anything? It's going to be a floodgate of comics. <laughs> You're one of those. I'm, I'm just posters. waiting for someone to send me a saying, why aren't you updating? <laughs> <laughs> You've released You're... the floodgate. You're one of those posters. Oh, goodness. No, uh... <laughs> I like to, I like to post weekly, but I'm joking. Like, I'm saying like, um, I'm trying to get all the sketching done so that I can, qu- I can release mm, them quickly. All right. sort of oh, so... yeah, yeah. I post, I post weekly every Wednesday. So I'll make a schedule one day. King, Twy, if you have anything, go ask first. Make me a good artist. <laughs> go. What? I'm asking that to make me a good artist. Go. That's it. That's it. Whoa, whoa, me, me. Okay. Um, the, the head is always a circle, and then the body is like a bean shape, and then just funky lines in between, and you got a picture. Um, I'd like to point out that I, <laughs> I hate it when people do that. Tutorial. This. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, not helpful. Really not. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me find it real quick. I'll sh- I'll show you. I have one. Uh, Three? somebody asked me how I draw ponies. I'll show you, like the sketch by sketch thing for it. I'm actually thinking of taking a break from drawing. Well, let me get that right. Posting the drawings I do, and just spend a month like just training stuff. I think Roll said it's like a, a Shaolin monk going into temples and just practicing and coming back like a master. I was like, yeah, except for I won't come back a master, I'll come back a press <laughs> going, I can't do it, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I have a there question for Keck. Okay. Uh, I think you got a YouTube channel. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Kickass King 1. Oh, I like I had, I'm that. Saying that I'm saying that like a question because I have to check. It says... Okay. <laughs> Wait, if you know why did what? Uh, I... Twice is just messing with you, and yeah, you should promote yourself. There he is, and that's what bothers me. Cause he's winning. Oh, at this point it's a game, and he knows that. Oh, by the way, Ned, I'm looking at like the question: How do you draw ponies? And I do see the step by step line. So, how did you get this one started? Like, what application did you start it off with? I, you mean program I draw with? Yeah. I draw with Sketchbook Pro. Um, I believe it's version 6.0. And it's nothing like Photoshop or GIMP or Sci. It's actually a lot different. It's, it feels more like cartoony, I guess. Um, Don't mind me just saving all these gifts. Just one moment. <laughs> Um, so it, it's an interesting program. I, I like it. It works really well. It's, I kind of stuck with it. And then a lot of people ask me, does it have stable? No, it doesn't have stabilizers. I just have a very steady hand. Um, so, so wait, you're not one of those people who use a ruler? Eh, not usually, no. So what was the application called again? Sketchbook Pro. Sketchbook Pro. Wow. Wait, that's for PC or Mac? It is for, I think they have, it's for either. You can, and it actually started out as a tablet application for drawing, but they have versions for computers, both Mac and Microsoft. I'm assuming that you also use a tablet, right? So mm-hmm. any brand loyalty? Um, not really. I've gone through three tablets since I started using a tablet. The currently I'm using the Viz Tablet Muse. It was like two hundred bucks. Works great for me. Wow. So, 
Hmm. All right. Uh, usually, people had the loyalty to Wacom, and since I don't know, Wacom is a big guy in the industry, so mm. I just they're too small. So I got the cheapest tablet I could, and I'm sticking with it until it breaks. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> I usually go for, like, the in-between, because if it's too cheap, it's usually junk. If it's too expensive, it's usually expensive junk. So I just <laughs> go for what's in-between. It's usually about average. Make me rich. Someone, quick. Make that a Tumblr question. Make me rich. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what? Is what, that what a question? challenge? Yes. Oh, no. I'm not sure how that's a challenge, but yes, I guess. Challenge I'm so accepted. Uh, what do you I'm mean not challenge confused. <laughs> I am confused. How too. did you manage to not say a word, say something, and confuse the rest of the group? How have you done that? <laughs> I have magic. <laughs> He's Princess uh, Twilight freaking Sparkle, okay? Uh, That's what he does. Twilight just use confusion. It's super effective. <laughs> just don't. Okay. Uh, Ay, ay, ay. So, uh, Nat, I, I see here one on your one of your posts that you have a plushie of Edgar. I do. I actually had a contest where um, when I reached 1,500 followers, I did a contest where you could win a plushie of Edgar. And uh, the contest is already over. I already sent the plushie out. Uh, sorry, too late, guys. Um, <laughs> I actually have two plushies. One is of Emerald Knight, which is his roommate, and she was actually my first uh, pony character I was really proud of. So she's the one I've been keeping. And then the other one, I got a smaller Edgar uh, plush, specifically for the contest. But I got two of them so that I could keep one, too. Yeah. So did you make this yourself or commission it from another person? I commissioned it. Um, it's from an artist on Fur Affinity that I commissioned uh-huh. the Edgar one from. And then the one um, for Night. In fact, I'll find the Night picture so you can see it that was commissioned from star massacre on on debian art um, i'll find both of the links let me find that real quick oh, all right because i'm looking here and wow this is awesome like you have plush and you're giving it away mm, so awesome so what was the rule set for this one like obviously it's follow you on the tumblers comment on this one and uh, random random person wins yes i was being completely fair in fact every um the day that i was going to choose the winner i streamed so people can watch and know that i wasn't cheating this is my night plushie i streamed it so that people knew i wasn't cheating and then the person never got back to me and they had a day's span of time to get back to me about the plushie they never got back to me so i streamed the next day and that person never got back to me and i'm like people don't want edgar anymore um (laughs) and so the third day i streamed huh where did you stream like where do you stream Oh, I did it on Picardo. Um, while I was doing it on Picardo, I, I drew beforehand and I said, okay, now I'm going to pick the winner. And then I drew some more afterwards. Okay. So. So I need to, I need to start uh, watching you on Picardo's and I'll ask you for a link afterwards then. Oh, um, I always yeah. link on my Tumblr. So if you follow me on my Tumblr, you'll, you'll now. see when it pops up. <laughs> there you go. Did you see my night plushie? She does really good plushies actually. So. Yeah. That is really cute. I want one. Like, I don't own, I, the only thing I own that's merchandise is, uh, prints. Like, fan prints. So, I need, I probably should at some point try and match Twilight. I'm gonna try and over, like, Twilight. I have a couple. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I actually do have a stash of, like, my little pony stuff. <laughs> like... Like, for, for Twilight, me trying to catch up to your p- pony collection is like you trying to catch up to me in Gamer Score. Yeah, I have several hundred ponies. Oh jeez, <laughs> I wish I had that many. Not quite. I have. I just have a bunch of little figurines. Like I have the um the the black ones with the colored manes. Those ones. I got quite a few. I have few like of them. twelve or yeah, like twelve of those I think. And then I have like thirty of the teeny tiny ones you get from the uh, grab bags that you never know what you're going to get. Blind bags. Um, oh, the blind bags. Flash like a bag of bo- bo- ponies. You never know which one you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uh, then I... my Discord. <laughs> uh, what else? Then I also have a couple of the McDonald's toys. When McDonald's... McDonald's is doing My Little Pony toys again, guys. They're doing Only Equestria Girl Mary toys. Kit. Yeah, that upsets me. Yeah, they're serving it with the Equestria Girls, right? Yeah, you can either get a pony or an Equestrian Girl. And I live in America. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boo! Traces. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do uh, have a couple of comic books, and then I have like the starter comic book, which is like a literal book and not just one of the flimsy ones. So, and and uh, oh, I have the episode guide up to like season three or four. So that's that's what I have. I have Lauren Fox signature. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we can win with this one. Like I, I think Twy wins. It's well, not only Lauren. Like I think you have uh, John Delancey and also Tara. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, total win. We, we lose. I'm we sad. Lose. I don't, there's no cons around where I live, so I don't get to go to any brony cons. I live in a town with one of the, with the I'll, Europe's I'll biggest honest, brony cons. The signatures, I didn't get them myself. People sent them me. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> still, still you got it. That's an important one. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he didn't get to meet but, those people in person. I had a, th- oh, I had a 30 so minute so... conversation with, uh, I forgot his name now. Christ, how did I forget his uh, name? Dave Polsky. Yeah, that's the one. Dave Polsky, sorry. Nice. So I, was just, I was thinking about something else. Like, he said to Howard Strong, I was just thinking, um, I think, I think I spotted it once before when I was in America. But I did, I, what, what, what really? Yeah. Um, but I didn't mention it when we were on my podcast, cause on our, my episode, because I didn't know it was here or not. But someone said, is that Howard Strong? She just things, uh, she does a lot of change. And I was like, I don't think so. Like, we didn't go up to her in case it was, not her. Uh, you don't want to be one of them. Um... So I think I've seen her. I don't know. I had dinner but... with Michelle Kreber and her family. Did you? Yeah. Okay, I, you win. <laughs> they are wow. like an amazingly funny family. Ah. Well, did it, King? Did it? You had well a a pint with Dave. Yeah, but well, yes and no. He wasn't drinking. I had a I had a drink. We were at the uh, we were at a revolution. Which is a so he I might have been drunk, is what he's saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> I only had like, what did I have? I had two shots and three beers. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> I'm sure it was him. I am absolutely positive. No, I know it was him because it was a, it was a it was a VIP meeting, kids. But <laughs> okay. everyone was doing that rude thing where, oh well, even he's here, so he's here to talk to us, even when he's eating. Sorry, people. It's time in the place. So I just sort of sat, like, I was sat in the booth next to him. And when he finished eating and he said, sorry, guys, can you just not talk to me for a bit? I want to have, like, a few minutes. Because he literally, people come up to him while he's eating. And that was just rude. So I just literally, I, I turned around and said, just wanted to say, uh, sorry for bothering you, but um, big fan. I love this. And I love, I'm looking forward to seeing Sonic Boom. Because he's working on that. He went, how long have you been sat there? I haven't seen you speak to me. And I went, yeah, I'm just waiting for you to finish. I thought it was rude. He went, oh, okay, <laughs> come here. Well, I, I said, do you mean, he said, come into this booth. And was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> so, yeah, manners, people, manners. Yeah. It, bring, it brings you a lot. It brings you a lot. But this yeah, is what our does. British parents taught us. And that's kind of the thing. I think a lot of people forget, especially when it comes to famous people or even partially famous people. One thing I've noticed a lot on um, Tumblr is there's a hierarchy. And even though, like, the old famous people of Tumblr are starting to fade away, there's a new hierarchy of people building their way to the top again. But one thing people never seem to realize is they never talk to the semi-popular or super popular people because, like, oh, they're stars. They don't want to talk to me. And the only reason I've gotten to know these people is because I was willing to talk to them. We, you got to remember, people are people no matter what hierarchy they this are. The preachy sister. <laughs> <laughs> you've, just, you've just made Twilight's point that he regularly shouts at me for. Yeah. Valid. What was it, Twy? What was it, Twy? Because you told me this too. Yeah, people treat semi-famous people like gods and it's stupid. Everyone's a person. Just speak to them like they're people. Oh, I know. I've talked to a couple of them, and they and these are the things I hear from them. One person says, "Man, you're real popular." I'm like, "You have like a million followers." He's he's like, "No, that's meme status. You're really popular. People <laughs> like to talk to you." And I'm like, "That's so sad." There's this guy who's at this fame level, and he has no friends, literally Aww. none, and he's jealous of me because of my little meager status and and I just feel bad for these people you know and I talked to another person and she's she's telling me man maybe I'll talk to you because you're one of the cool people and and that just makes me think how many people bother her on a daily basis acting like rabid fans you know instead of actual people 
Oh, wow. And it, it, I just got... Ever so <laughs> I just Did take things down a notch. <laughs> For nine ninety nine, I can teach you too to act like a human. I know, right? <laughs> says that. That's the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to lose connection with my fans if I do get more popular. You know, that's one thing mm. I'm scared of is I don't want to be that person. Be like, oh, she's so I I. I... <laughs> I went into someone's stream once, somebody I followed, and and I'm talking to them, and they're all sass, and, like, they're all this and that, and then all this, and they're like, wait, who are you? And I'm like, I do Edgar Allan Pony. They're like, <gasps> and they started crying in their stream. And I'm like, Why are you crying? Why are you crying? And they're like, you're, you're so amazing. And I'm like, no, Whoa. that was not <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. And I couldn't do another stream of stream. hers. And she started crying again. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm not ready for this. I don't want to be famous anymore. You know? <laughs> See, uh, stream, like, I've had a fair few people turn up in my stream and I've gone, oh wow, you're, you're pretty famous. Cool. But in my stream, it's like, it's slightly different because... I stream all the damn time. Like, I'm on a lot, and for a long time as well. So people will just stop by and go, oh, who's this guy who's always on? And I mean <laughs> always on. So people are like... I, I, do, I do that too. Like, so, like recently I did a stream, and that and that's... Um, like, and during the stream I had Brony Dance Party come in. I've met Flufflepuff. Mm. I've met... Um, oh. In fact, uh, I've streamed with Flufflepuff twice Same. now. Um, he's a go he's a cool guy. Oh yeah, he is. Very and, quiet, uh, but cool. But um the thing is like it's our stream. This is this is our domain. It's like it's, hey, you need to add <laughs> say, hey, so guys, uh so the fluffer puff just turned up. How are you doing? Yeah, so uh, this is cool, this is cool, yeah. Inside <laughs> you're going, Oh my god. <laughs> well the first the first time Flufflepuff showed up to the stream, I was streaming with um my friend Rain and I'm like is that the real Fluffle Puff? <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and, and I and I was honest. I'm like, I'm a little starstruck here, but uh, I'm gonna keep going. And then um, there's like this little fiasco, or whatever. And he ended up streaming with her, and then actually told her that he likes me and wants me to stream with them. I'm like, oh my gosh! So I ended <laughs> up joining the stream, and that's how I got to know him. So. Um, this is fun listening to you guys. Like, I, I, I just sit back and relax right about now because I do stream. I just do this little show that nobody really wants to listen to. Oh, Aww, now I feel don't depressed. Make, don't make us sad. Two K in the Malaysians watch. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah, long. Um, um, <laughs> Um, no, I get that, because my, my streams died down a lot now, because I haven't been streaming as much recently, because of reasons. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know. Wait, 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 question. How many people show up for your streams? On, on an average? It depends. What's an average? Do you mean, like, on a busy night, or a quiet night? Uh, either or. Well, because sometimes I'll be streaming for hours, and no one will turn up. Mm. And then I get times where, how many people were in that one stream time? Was it 30? Something like that. 20, probably. 20, 20, 30, 20. somewhere between 20 and 30, I can't remember. But, like, so, you know, sometimes I get 20, 30 people, sometimes I don't get any. Mm -hmm. um, and it depends on the day and the time and what's going on in the world, because I don't watch sport. Like, I, 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 Super Bowl, last time it was the Super Bowl, I didn't know it was the Super Bowl until people came in and said, why are you streaming? I'm like, because I always stream at this time. But, funnily enough, it's really quiet tonight. And they all went, yeah, because the Super Bowl's on. I went, it is. <laughs> so, you know, obviously, it depends on what's going on in the world. Yeah, but King, didn't you say, what is this Super Bowl thing? Oh, I, yeah, no, I jokingly, I, I know it's a game of football that everyone seems to love. I did, I actually, don't you mean rugby? <laughs> High five twice. What? It's a game you know, of rugby. I, I know it's a game of rugby, but everyone else knows it's football, so I'm having to conform. No, no you're British. It, it's not a, it's not a game. It's um, after all the football games have gone, and it's the biggest championship. It's basically these guys destroy the. It, it, it's like Digimon. <laughs> and the Digimon versus Pokemon. 
that, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Pokemon championship, and the last two football teams that are squaring off against each other is the Super Bowl. That's You've what gone from is. really sporty to rich, so, so far nerdy that yeah, I, I'm still lost. <laughs> so, I never played Pokemon. So... <laughs> I Basically, that, it's the it. changelings versus the main six. No, no, oh, yeah. it's not like that at all. It's um. Oh no. <laughs> have you ever oh, seen kid. an anime or something where they have a competition and it's like these two face each other, whoever wins goes to the next round. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. yeah. All ye- all yeah. season, all the football teams do that. The Super Bowl is the last two teams. That's what the mm-hmm. Super Bowl oh, is. So it's it's a the last match. two. It's that's exactly what it is. It's hey, like the FIFA Cup or something. <laughs> <laughs> because the, because the World Cup of Rugby. Okay, thank you. Not not really because I know, the World I Cup know, of Rugby. I know. I know. Make it simple for the simple British lad. <laughs> <laughs> you poor British fool. I just want to help. The only reason I'm so simple from things like this is because I used to study sport and anatomy. I just don't. <laughs> it's, it's American sport. It's foreign sport. I'm not interested in it. No offense to I'm you. I'm not fun. interested in it either, and I'm American, so <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. Isn't that like earn you would like a a line um a firing squad if you admit that or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll divert your I... attention away from it. I'm not into it either because it's played by. That's not a word. That's <laughs> <laughs> wow. true. Uh, I know, but oh god. <laughs> But anyway, let me try and reel, reel it back in. Ay, ay, ay. Thank, thank you, Ned, for coming on. I, I, I'm assuming we all had a good time here. And, a little oh, wow. bit, a little bit. My, my, my cheeks are still hurting. Ouch. <laughs> so, Ned, where, where can they find you? Where can they find you? I don't think she needs this publicity. <laughs> I've just gone through how she's tired of people thinking she's oh, like starstruck. Stop it. Stop it. I don't mind it. I just um on the on the Edgar Allan Pony blog, you can either message me through that, find me on DeviantArt, or I have a mod blog, and this is my mod blog. Uh, I'll put it in the show notes. My mod blog is basically where I dump sketches and reblog junk and whatever. Um, Edgar basically is like Edgar Allan Pony related things, and. Film and Flam, basically the same thing, except for it's a team-up blog. Um, DeviantArt, I still check it just about every day, but I don't post a lot to it. Uh, so. All right, understandable, understandable. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And if you want to reach us on Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. Sweetie, but we'll tweet about stuff related to this episode, or just beat me up because I'm lazy. <laughs> and you can also find me at Norman Sanzo. I'll tweet about basically whatever I want. King, where can they find you? In my bed. Uh, but actually, after this, down at the pub, I think. What? No, not bed? Without me? Oh. Well, if you can get to America before... In I'm in America. Hang on, hang on. You said find in the bed, and then that was like, without me? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> I thought no it was the way. pub. How did that pub. get shipped within an hour? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I work um, my magic I, very well. I ship, I ship me and kick. Hell yeah. Wow. Uh, OTP. I'll, I'll <laughs> Skype right now. <laughs> I don't ship us anymore. You're my no OTP. <laughs> now. <laughs> you can find me on my YouTube, my DeviantArt, and my backstage ponies Tumblr. Awesome, awesome. And also, Twy, where can they find you? On the internet. <laughs> On the internet. My little pony, every Saturday. <laughs> You've just missed me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'll probably take a look, see you next week. Uh, and also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page yes we have the Facebooks and you can also catch us on PonyVLife.com links are in the show notes so I have been Norman Sanzo I'm still kick Ben I'm Twilight Sparkle Nat <laughs> and with that we'll catch you next week with another more horse famous episode next week probably you need a horse famous episode. You kind of missed it here. I know some horses in the field if you want me to grab that. We need Mr. Ed. <laughs> Let's end it. Bye bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. bye.